It's a mystery. How we make our way through Yu-Gi-Oh's history. So join us as we go through the I Am No Progression series. But um bum bum. <laughs> Previously on the I Am No Progression series. Her. Mm. Uh, we'll do contract, tribute this, this, summon, special, banish the light monster and the dark monster. All right. Oh. Yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> yep. Here we go. Nuke the field. Now, it can nuke in two different ways. Like this. You're not going to roll a six. It can, it, yo. I'm due. I'm I'm all I'm saying is that if I roll nope. a six, I'm That's due not for how it. this goes. That's not how the storyline goes though. Your luck see look, I flip coins to Jirai Gumo and I lose every time. Yeah. You flip a coin to Jirai Gumo and it's just it's just good. My fifty fifties are just seventy five twenty fives, but alright, well, this is for all the marbles this episode. Or we're going to game three. The one is if you roll a one or two, destroy one monster. All right, destroy the one that I don't you destroy know. Destroy the face down, you attack, and then it's, I'm dead. Yep. All right. Well, that is the end of the tactical evolution episode. All right. Welcome back to the I'm Their Progression series. And we are here for Gladiator's Assault, which is a really big turning point in Yu Gi Oh! This is like mm. a super iconic pack. We also have Champion Pack 4. So why don't we get into this first? Let's see. We have some super rare reprints. Not really a big deal. All of these cards are much, much, much lower rarity. But the rares have things like Return from Different Dimension, the Divine Sword of Phoenix Blade, Confiscation, Confiscation. <laughs> uh, Cypher Soldier, which is not the original name. I believe it was called Kinetic Soldier, but they eventually changed yeah. it to Cypher Soldier. Free to Brave Wander. The Ultra Rare, I don't even know what this is. Gurnia? During your next standby phase, after this face-up card you control was destroyed into the grave by an opponent's card effect, special summon it. So that's just a rant. Uh, and then in terms of commons, we have Soul Exchange and Treeborn and Manju, uh, Robin Goblin Reprint, Duty Survivor, Gigantes, stuff like that. Not really anything too crazy there, but yeah, this pack is pretty dope. The main things are Return, Confiscation, and Cypher Soldier that I think are like cards that that I don't really know how else you get them. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the actual pack though. So we already know, Gladiator's Assault, the name has everything in it, right? It tells you exactly what it's about. Yep. So Claudians come out in this set. This is an archetype that Konami really did not care about because mm -hmm. it never went anywhere. There's no real good Claudian cards to be perfectly honest. Like even if there is one, it's just not enough. Uh, and it's so- It's so weird that like this set has Claudians and Gladiator Beast. <laughs> yeah. There and the the power level is it couldn't be further apart right like not at all glad beasts are an sjc winning archetype they're a ycs winning archetype they're a nationals winning archetype so it, yeah this is one of the strongest ever you know glad beasts are one of the fan favorites too so the only two rares actually this is pretty good i guess but the only two rares are just laquari and Ramillo. yeah uh, and then respite if you play that but then in ulti rares we have well this is not right her cleanness is not ulti in this pack that's just that's just a hundred percent not the case uh heraclinos hmm. is actually a secret rare in gladiators of salt it's a very it was a very expensive card back then and I'm yeah, they have at, them listed as an ultra rare i'm also noticing that for whatever reason we're seeing these as japanese i just noticed that you see it says jp044 uh, what's going on here why is the website showing uh, like that that's interesting is there a way that we could turn that off like do i accidentally have this on some kind of hold on yeah, like what's that? Maybe about? scroll down, scroll down. Let me go back to it. So, is there two different gladiators assaults? No. Yeah, I don't really understand why. I don't understand why mm. that would be Japanese because I'm, I'm looking at the rarities like Marmillo and Laquari. These are rares. I, I know that, but he 100% is a super what's, rare. What's NR by the way? Like, look at Secator. Look, go down. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't know what NR means either. And this is, I'm assuming, the ghost rare, but they're calling it holographic card now. Uh, let me make sure that the other packs aren't messed with too. Yeah, these say EN. You know, like they say EN. Yeah, 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 yeah. For whatever reason, Gladiator's 
assault on this website is just like bugged for lack of a better word. I don't I don't really know. Like it's just not Why correct. is it using the Japanese stuff? And I'm hoping that this is not something that we're gonna have to deal with going forward because so I'm just gonna look at Phantom Darkness real quick. So I think yeah. that's the next one. Phantom Darkness is in Japanese. It's in it Japanese? JP. Well it says JP. Yeah. Like the card the card values are JP. Um I don't understand why. Yeah, I don't really Light of, get... Light of Destruction. But Light of Destruction says EN. Yeah, so for two packs it's just gonna be what is Dark Arm Dragon's rarity in Phantom Darkness and the one that you see? Because I know that he's not secret rare in Japan. He was a rare. He he's a rare. Oh my god. He's a so he's a regular rare. Yeah, these rarities are screwed up. Now, I don't for Gladiator's Assault, it doesn't look like it matters because these rarities are actually pretty accurate, other than Heraclinos. But for Phantom Darkness, we did That's not have an, rare like, dark arm. A rare dark arm dragon. Yeah, we did not have on, rare. That we didn't completely have rare changes the value of that pack. Like it's not it even I don't also know, this I wonder if they weird. have the exclusive cards too, because I'm just noticing something. Test Tiger is supposed to be in Gladiator's Assault as well. And it's not there. It's not there because it's, it's an American exclusive. So this this pack is just screwed why up. Why did this? Why? Why? Like, why does everything have to go good and then not good? Like, what the fuck? What's the point? Why Why is it? So here's where I think that we're going to have to switch websites. So I'm, I I wanted to do this a while ago, but we were like, you know, our collections are already here. Let's just do whatever. But I think that a couple things need to change this episode anyway. We need to get rid of chaos. We could put them in a hall of fame. But the other thing that needs to change is I think that this website is not usable anymore because literally right now, I realized that we're not going to have American exclusive cards, which are extremely important going forward. Like yeah. this set doesn't have Test Tiger, which makes Glad Beast like Test Tiger is insane. Also, there's a lot of American exclusive cards in Phantom Darkness. The next set, like Dark Ruffer is an American exclusive, I'm pretty sure. And there's more. There's like several more. And it's going to be more throughout the next several sets that are just like, like Tour Guide from the Underworld, Reborn Tengu. These are American exclusive cards that like change the entire... Grandmaster is an American exclusive card, if I'm not mistaken as well. And the only reason we have that is because that pack was correct. But now that this shit is like not right. I know there's a second website that uh, Stengo uses to do the progression series that he does with Luke, like for funsies. So I'm just going to ask him real quick for a link for that. And then we will be right back. Yeah. All right, we are back. And now after consulting with Stengo, we found a different way that we're going to have to do this. So we're going to this is this is so crazy it's gonna be a frankenstein situation for a couple weeks because for whatever reason on this website gladiators assault and the next set phantom darkness are in japanese i do not know why but this is an issue because the rarities are all messed up so for example in japan if you guys don't know this dark arm dragon is a rare it is a rare regular card. old silver lettered rare yeah i'm actually trying to find it i don't know let's see where it is okay yeah darker okay dark arm dragon is a rare in japan that's how it was released but as you all know in America, it was, re it was released as a secret rare to us, and it was a very expensive card, very hard to get card. Gladiator's Assault, same thing. Test Tiger is... Test Tiger's not even in a set uh, on this website. Like, it's, it's literally just missing from the website, and I noticed that... As well all, as, like, five other cards, ten other cards. Like. Yeah, there's, like, ten cards missing. Anything that's American exclusive, for some strange reason, this website just doesn't have it. So we have to... We're going to use this website to open our packs right? This is going to be our pack opener website for this week and for next week. But to show off the pack, we're going to use this website to just like show you the card uh, that are in Because we don't even know. We didn't even know like some of the cards that are in this set, you know, like Royal Firestorm Guard. And there's like other things that like Tongue Twister, Dragon Eye, Screech, Necroface. I had no idea. I forgot that they were in this set because that other website doesn't have any of the American cards or whatever in it. It has just what was in the Japanese set only, which is obviously bad for multiple reasons because we just be missing things. So with that yeah. being said, and the way this, this is, is organized is so trash, but it's whatever. yeah, just bear with us this week, I guess, guys, because yeah, like Kenny said, this is not good. Uh, it's all jumbled together, um, but you have more Claudians really don't care about those. Alexander's unplayable. Spartacus is meh. The Makari here, Secutor. We have Test Ape, which is actually not bad. Recently won a Edison tournament. There was a Gladiator to be stuck that won an Edison tournament featuring Test Ape. So that was that was something. Got some fusions. None of these matter except Heraclinos, if we're being perfectly honest. Eventually, mm -hmm. Evil Hero Dark Gaia will matter, but I think off the bat, like right now, it's not really a big deal. Uh, Swing of Memories. Kenny, I think, brought up this card a long time ago. It's a nice card. Brings back Blue Eyes or, or Trihorn Dragon or whatever you have. Uh, more Glad Beast support stuff. There's just a bunch of random traps. So these are important. Light Mirror and Dark Mirror or Shadow Mirror. Mm -hmm. These are also common, so not too big of a deal to like it should it shouldn't be too hard to get them uh and here's where we get some like interesting things so test tiger like i said dragon ice tongue twister screech royal fire 
Firestorm Guards, Veil of Darkness, Security Orb, Necroface, Gilgarth, the Relentless from the anime, Soul Taker. This is so Soul Taker is extremely hard to get. Even like it's a secret rare, right? But for whatever reason, I think it's like a short print secret rare. And so is this thing, Magic Formula. This card is one of the rarest cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think like a first edition, mm. a first edition copy of Magic Formula, if it's in good condition, is thousands of dollars actually, and it was thousands of dollars for years because it's so hard to get. It's not playable, but it's extremely hard to get. <laughs> And then Silent Doom. So we have all of that. Ultimate rares, just obviously all the cards that are foil can be ulti or whatever. And then the ghost rare for this set is Chaos Neos, which I believe, I believe this has a severe misprint. Yeah, but... it says misprint there. What's, I don't, I don't know what the misprint is. So the misprint, if I'm not mistaken, in the background is like a rainbow dragon or some shit. It's like, oh shit, that's yeah, this, cool. yeah it's, like, it's actually amazing. Silverman used to have one. I don't know if he still has it, but it blatantly just has like a different monster imprinted in the back. You could blatantly just see another monster in the back of it. So, and it's a, pretty crazy misprint up for obvious reasons that being said why don't we switch over to the wheel now all right so we are here with the wheel and we added a new thing which is 10 duelist packs because this is the week where we're also going to be opening a full display of jade and yuki and aster phoenix uh so we'll we'll get literally like there's there's so many packs if you want kenny you don't have to open these one by one you can just like oh i don't plan on it <laughs> <laughs> let me let me just tell you right the fuck now i don't plan on it <laughs> okay well yeah you can just open these all at once uh there's a fast forward button because i was like opening 60 packs is unhinged so for those you know just open them all at once and then for the ones that we're going to open on this website obviously the gladiators assault go through those one by one just as we normally would Wait, can you i thought you just have to open them all no no you can go by one by one in fact this website just kind of mirrors the exact stuff that you could do with the other one okay uh so yeah so that's what we'll do so we're going to open up 30 packs of jaden yuki 30 packs of Aster phoenix which is a full display then we have to open up a box of gladiators assault you're going to get some was it is it champion pack three yes champion pack three you're gonna get some champion pack three pity packs from last week we have to spin this wheel i think we're both we're both getting uh a spin this week as well so there's that yeah let me double check that my volume is right, right i'm gonna spin for myself real quick see what i get you spin it spinning spinning round and round okay a super rare or a lower yeah, from the last set mm. who knows what that could be and he gets three more tournament packs. So all together, you're gonna open up six tournament packs, basically. Okay, okay. so that's the wheel. And now we're going to leave you all so that we can open up our boxes and our there's a lot happening there's a lot happening right now bear with us it's a hectic week but we did speed through last week like we just we went the fastest we could go so yeah let's do that oh okay there's one more thing so we've been talking about this for a while now i think that with gladiators assault coming out this is the perfect time to do this the hall of fame which is what i believe simo and like gage or whatever did uh and this series is obviously inspired by them but is it time for us to put our chaos monsters in the hall of fame which is basically saying that they get retired at least for the time being but they get retired and then we are able to literally flex our collections for real and just see what else we can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're retired. The only thing I'll say is this, right? Boom, they're retired. <laughs> Out of here. But eventually, Black Luster Soldier comes back. Like, he comes off the ban list and stuff. He does. And all I'm saying is this. If at some point Black Luster's like back, Chaos Emperor's back too. That's all I'm saying. If Frazier no, I... puts Chaos, <laughs> if Frazier puts Black Luster in, I'm putting Chaos Emperor in. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, I don't, I don't disagree with that. I don't have any intentions of bringing him back, but eventually, nah, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, it yeah, yeah. So it would be cool to play with Dark Arm Dragon and Chaos Emperor Dragon, but <laughs> Jesus Christ, it, this is this is already. I mean, we were we were this we were this close to having rare Dark Arms, which really is saying yeah, that would have been absurd. We were this close to having three copies of Dark Arm Dragon, zero difficulty, because I would have mulliganed if it was rare. Like I would just yeah, that's. I'm getting my three Dark Arms if it's, if it's a rare. I'm getting three of them. And you have Witch of the Black Forest, which can search Dark Arm, which is fucking wild. That yeah, is, is that is crazy wild. But anyway, it is right. insane. We have a but lot. Anyway, of yeah, Gladiators Assault. We have a lot of. I'm not yeah. looking forward to this. this Same. Is uh, this is this is so much. But all right, well, we will reconvene in a little bit. Okay. I just want everybody to know that I hate all of them. I've got two different websites open, the open packs. Why? Just why? You know, why can't they just get it right? I'm opening champion pack three. And I think I'm opening six packs. I think. I don't know. I'm just going to open these really quick. We have a lot of packs to open today. So we're just going to get to the point. Kaiba Man, some nonsense, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Mega Valley, cool. Feather thing, cool. Whatever. Spirit, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Add to collection. All right, great. Um, 
Back to fucking whatever this is. Pack Simulator. Leave. Sort by oldest. It's not like I would. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, why? Anyway, open that. It was all garbage. Not even worth looking at. From there. Oh, I have to open. I'm opening 30 packs of both of these. Is that what's happening? 30, 30 packs of both of them? Oh, no. Back here, right? Yeah, back here. Yuki and Astrophy. This is crazy. 30, 30. This is absurd. Can I auto open pack? Uh, open as chaos. Auto open packs. Okay, so it's just gonna open everything. Cool. Done. Did I get anything that I need? Jaden Yuki. Um, I got e calls. I don't know if I had those or not, but I I got them. And Blade Edge. I don't even remember what we were looking for out of Jaden Yuki. Aster Phoenix. Oh yeah, we're looking for like malicious and D draw. I think. I don't think I got that though. I got two malicious. Cool. Cool. Two malicious. No D draw. Unless I'm just not seeing it. But yeah, no D draw looks like. So it's unfortunate. At the collection. So that is that. I think I'm done with this website. I gotta go to this website now. And I have to open 24 packs of this shit. Okay. I think this is it. I don't think I have anything else to do. I think I just flip these cards and I think I just flip these cards and uh then I'm good to go. Something. I don't fucking know. Hmm. I already don't feel good. I'm, I'm not. I'm not liking these rares, okay? I am not. I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do shit, huh? Interdimensional Warp? What is this? Is this like creature swap? It's like the monster you control on a monster with an A counter. Your opponent controls. Switch. Oh, so this is like for aliens. There's Test Tiger. Would be nice if I got some uh, good gladiator beast to go alongside it. I haven't even... Ugh. Ugh, 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 ugh. Express Roid. This could be fucking any one of the other rare GBs, but it's not. It's just not. This is kind of annoying because here I am thinking to myself, I'm going to play Gladiator Beast today. And it's looking like no. So how do I look at everything? Okay, let's look at what we got. We have Test Tiger. Cool. We got one Mermillo. Bestiari. Four Test Apes. Yeah, I, we can't play GBs, all right? Like, it's just not even possible. Like, it's not even possible to construct GBs here. So, how do I add this export? No, save, save the binder. I have to, like, make a binder. Okay, well, good news is I'm probably not using any of these fucking cards because I'm not using GBs because I don't have enough to really play them. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. Though. So, anyway, I'm going to go put my deck together. I don't know, man. I don't know. There, I, I feel like I opened too many cards to care, I'm being honest. I, I just opened so many cards. I don't know how to look at it all and what I'm going to do with it. So I think I'm going to just see what happens. Okay, so first things first is I get a super rare or lower from Tactical Evolution, which could be Zombie Master. It's something I did want and I didn't get. And I got two copies of Alias last pack. I think it's actually a better use of my super rare to get a third Alias for obvious reasons, because this later on could actually do something if I have a full three copies of it. And when Gemini Spark comes out, I'm not sure when that comes out, but I think it's better to just have three copies of this. So I'm just going to add a Neos Alias to my collection and that'll, that'll just give me a play set. Uh, we'll worry about Zombie Master at another time. Now, in terms of Duelist packs, I have to get 30 packs of Jade and Yuki, and we're just going to do the fast forward for this. <laughs> Oh boy, let's see what we get. Okay, so we got one car trooper and a bunch of other crap that I don't really think is, you know, a big deal, but we got a car trooper. All right, so that's that. Let's move on to, so I guess I should add this to my collection. Let me add this to collection. Okay, now I wanna go back, return the packs, like where is it? Here we go. I'm gonna go back and we're going to add, where is Aster Phoenix. So we're going to get 30 packs of this as well. We need 30 packs of this guy. Just fast forward this whole thing. Okay, so we got one malicious, which is like whatever. One malicious literally doesn't do a single thing, but go off. And we're going to add this to our collection. Then we're going to go return to pack select. I don't think any of those other cards matter. I'm not even going to worry about it right now. Uh, is there anything else I have to do? So, okay, we did that. Where am I at? Where are we at? Glader's Assault. Now we have to switch to a different website. We're going to switch to, let's see, this website. We're going to get 24 packs of Gladiator's Assault. We're going to open these one by one, see what we get. Hopefully we don't get screwed. I do have a mulligan ticket though, for what it's worth. I do have a mulligan ticket. Also, I do not like this website. I was about to say, I cannot deal with that. All right. So first pack, a Beast DRI, a Secutor, sure. Okay, a Light Imprisoning Mirror, uh, Release from Stone. 
All right, a Shadow Mirror, another Bestiari, an Ultra Rare Fusion thing. Okay, I think we have a place at Asaki Tours now. Yep. So what do we actually want from this set? Mermillo, that's definitely something. A Plumus, a Malicious Edge, Laquari. Okay, that's good. Got a Laquari, got a Test Ape. More useless glass, tongue twister, secutor, blah, blah, blah. These, a lot of these cards are just going to be meh. How far are we in? We are over halfway there, and I am not feeling it, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to mulligan, though, because next week I feel like is way more important. So whatever I get out of this pack, I'm just keeping. Like, I am, I am holding. I'm holding the door. I'm getting screwed over with this pack, it looks like, but I'm just accepting whatever may come. So I think that's everything. Okay, what's going on here? So I guess this is everything that I got. So one Laquari, six copies of Bestiari, uh, two Hippos. I know I got at least one Mermillo. So we have, you know, a very sad uh, Glabby's deck that we could try to build. We don't have enough to make Glabby's, to be honest. We, yeah, we're missing just a lot of things. We're missing a lot of things for that. But all hope is not lost. Chaos is gone. So I do want to try to switch it up this week and play something a little fun, if I can, if I may, if I'm allowed to. So I'm going to add these to my collection in whatever way that's possible. So let me see, where's the add to collection button on this website? I don't really know how to add things, but I'll figure that out and then we will catch you in a little bit. Things went weird this week. I opened a shit ton of packs, too much to look at. I don't feel like I have enough parts to build anything. I don't feel like I have really enough parts to build anything relevant with heroes. Even though I got Test Tiger, I didn't really have any good parts to build Glad Beast. I was in an awkward spot. I thought about just going back to Earth, but I don't think Earth really solves any immediate problems. I think Earth would actually be pretty good versus Glad Beast because all of my monsters can be bigger than the Glad Beast. So I actually don't think Earth is that bad versus Glad's. I don't know if it beats Advanced Virtual Art. And even though he's not going to be using Black Luster Soldier, he didn't really win using Black Luster Soldier anyway. So his Advanced Ritual Art deck is still completely fucking fine. So I was trying to think what the two most likely options this week are still Advanced Ritual Art or Gladiator Beast. And I was thinking what would be the best way to go about this. Now, I'm not the best deck builder, not even close to, to, to young Fraser Smith, the Atlantean champion. But my thought process is here. Going back to Defissure and Macrocosmos, that should help deal with Advanced Virtual Art, I think. I don't 100% remember how it interacts, so maybe I'm just wrong. I think if Defissure is up, can't use Advanced Virtual Art, but maybe you can, they just get banished. I don't fully remember how it works. I'm going to hope it works the way I want it to work. If it doesn't, oh well, I tried. I don't fully remember the ruling on how it works and how the interaction is. You can do it because you're not sending it to the graveyard, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That said, he has Heavy Storm and he has Duster. I put the two Magic Drains in, do my best. What else? Smashing Ground helps with both Glad Beast and Zork. Then I've got some Monarchs here. I've got some sticky monsters if they don't get Zorked. You know, the Gravekeeper Spy, Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Master. You know, these are pretty sticky monsters to help my Monarchs, Cyber Dragon, and then DD Survivor. You know, if he can come back from being banished. Point is, I'm not too confident, but with the limited resources I have, I, I'm trying to do my best effort to deal with either Glad Beast or Zork. I think if he brings out Glad Beast, I have a pretty decent chance, honestly. I think if he brings out Zork, it's a flip of a coin, but regardless of how it goes, he has Creature Swap, he has Change of Heart, he has Snatch Steal, so he has, you know, a plethora of ways to steal my monsters, even if I set up on them. He also has Duster and Heavy Storm and Giant True Need. So he can also just deal with my back row. So uh, I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just kind of here. Anyway, that's that. All right. So we made a really big change this week. Obviously, Chaos Sorcerer and BLS and Chaos Super Dragon are all banned, all the Chaos Monsters. Uh, and I've been wanting to try Six Samurais out since I did get two great Shogun Sheans a while ago, but there was really no incentive to play this. Now, obviously, I could just play my Advanced Ritual Art deck. It's still legal, but I want to switch it up. I'm a little bored of just summoning Master Zork and Demise and just absolutely ODing. So I wanted to try Six Samurais. I don't have any copies of Grandmaster, but I I think that with reasoning right because like reasoning is a card that used to be played in this deck and it, it will get limited at some point but right now it's at three with reasoning and the levels being all like crazy it's like three and four and seven if i had grandmaster we'd have a five in there but you know things things didn't work out but yeah, it's, it's not the easiest to call the levels it's really between three and four and then like if i get really lucky and then you just hit this guy it's insane uh but yeah we have ultimate offering in here we have one copy of double edged sword technique threatening wars to keep these guys alive this is this is a deck this is what i'm going with this week 
hoping that it works out. I filled in my intro deck finally. I figured why not just do it? We're almost to the point where this is gonna be like a thing for real. So we're getting there. Synchros are kind of close and also Glad Beast fusions are officially starting to uh, be a thing. So yeah, this is my deck for this week. Hopefully I'm able to steal at least a game. That's that's my hope right now. If we can steal a set, that'd be great. But I wanna, I wanna see if Six Emeralds can hold their own without having uh, three copies of Grandmaster. So let's see. Okay, let's duel. Let's see. Roll. All right. A uh, foe, but a foe. Right. Good luck. Have fun. Should be Good a luck. pretty interesting week. Should be Good a... luck. I hope you don't have fun. Oh, geez. I don't know if you don't have fun. BBL Drizzy. BBL Drizzy. Summer. All right. Well, in my deck video, I predicted two decks, and this wasn't either of them. <laughs> this wasn't either of them is crazy it just wasn't either of the decks i predicted so well i'm glad know. i'm glad that i subverted your expectations of me you always you always think the worst of me you know but here i am here mm. i stand with a zanji zanji mm. Mm. oh my god just a lonely zanji out there i just pray this isn't a mirror match that's all i hope mm. doesn't look like it's a mirror match Definitely not getting mirror match vibes from that. Okay, main oh, phase. Six, six samurai of the face down. Summon. He's uh, he summoned, right? He equips and gets 500 attack to the guy or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he does all that good stuff. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do that? What does he say? While equipped, the gains 500. The equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster. Draw a card. So we got some interesting things going on. And then it says, and then the damage that this card attack destroyed the monster's card attacked. So we're just gonna, gonna attack. See what this is. It's behind this door. Okay. So I take 200. Mm -hmm. I think this spy is is cooked. I'm gonna leave phase two. I'm gonna move you out the way. Put a little token on this guy. Just gonna freak it like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little drizzy. How much attack does he have? 22? 23, yeah. I can actually do this. Yep, the swords are up. Okay. Hmm. All right. Main phase one. I prepared for two things, and this, this like, ex this just exactly beats the way I prepared. <laughs> well, I I don't you know, know what to say. I'm, I'm know, gonna I'm gonna smash this guy though. Fucking hoe. <laughs> you're just a whole hoe. Uh huh. All right, he's back down to normal. Special. Sure. All right. Uh, let's see. Activate. Okay. <laughs> I'm just doing stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just doing things. Attack. Oh, God. I'm literally just playing cards, bro. <laughs> I'm literally just playing cards. <laughs> I am literally just playing cards. I don't even know, Kenny. I so I, let me guess. It was it was Glad Beast and it was uh what was the other one? Did you say the other one? Glad Beast. Yeah, one of them was Glad Beast, obviously. But I I did not I did not do too well on my Gladiators Assault Box. If I'm being honest. Neither did I. Okay, I thought I was it was preparing, just me. I was preparing for Glad Beast and Zork because I was just like, even though he got rid of Black Luster Soldier, he wasn't winning with Black Luster Soldier or fucking anyway. And so if he wanted to, he could still Zork me out. <laughs> Zork you out so so crazy. <laughs> so so crazy. If he wanted to, he could Zork me out. <laughs> Just still Zork the shit out of me. No, so. no. Zork is retired for now. I uh, I, I, I wanted to play Six Samurais, but I literally felt like as long as I had BLS, I'd be doing myself a disservice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. That is fucking hilarious. Oh, I need that card. Can I get that? No. Can I? Do you mind if I get a pop? Not allowed. You're not allowed to have it. Let me see what the hell you're playing. You're That's the question. I'm a survivor. Mm-hmm. Man, this is just real sapien right now. Just real sapien. Is there a, a prefix missing from that? By any chance? Mm -hmm. You can live your life however you want to live it. Okay. All right. and, I, and I shall. And I shall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. BBL Drizzy. All right. Let's, let's play a game. I know you like games. 
I'm hovering at mid defeat, by the way. Be careful what you play. I'm just, I'm just, not, you hovering at mid defeat, and I haven't done anything <laughs> yet is crazy. Okay, you're so fucking dramatic. Anyway, call a number, damn it. Uh, I guess a number. Yep. And then. We're about to start milling. Four, right? Okay, is that, your, is that your final answer? Right? Because if. If you call it right, then. Four. Okay, alright. Yeah. Say four. Oh! Well, it's not four. Because six samurais levels are all ridiculous. Alright. Summon. Yep. Okay. All right. Attack face down. Effect. And then we'll yeah. attack directly for 15. Mm -hmm. BBL Drizzy. We're in there. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Mm. Get that Get that spy out mm. of here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He pops face-up cards. Yeah. He does, actually. So if you play swords now, I can get rid of it. Yep. Okay. Well, I will not be... Pack, uh, pack. Yep. So I'll take 400 here and 300 here. Cyber Dragon is... What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Fuck you. That was that was that was just. Can I get a dark hole? And just for fun. I should have played that first. But, yes, but, but I don't think it's gonna. Wow! Asking you right. shall receive. That was insane. That was insane. All right, I don't have it. I don't have it. I don't have it to give. I don't have it to give. My hand That's is all crazy. monsters. I'm fucking cooked. That's that's crazy. Actually, I, oh, fuck just, it. I was I should have said something, but that's uh, crazy. That was insane. I asked for a dark hole. All right, this is actually just so much. All right, we're probably just dead. What can we draw? Can I draw anything? I hope not. All right, I literally just all right. My deck just decided. That was, thank God I have magic to bring now. Yes, that was that was wild. That was not fair. Oh man, that felt that felt you know. Damn deck. Baby Drizzy. I don't care. I'm looking at my side deck and I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, I switched out yeah. one card because now I saw a D Fisher and I'm like, all right, well, I should probably try to do something about that, but okay. Baby Drizzy. Baby. All right, flip. Yeah. Summon. Yep. Target pop. And then uh, he targets the back row. And yep. then he, him. <laughs> he is. <laughs> All right. So you ring this guy. Okay. And I believe I'm allowed to just like not destroy that one. So we're going to do that. And then no one takes anything from ring. Okay. So uh, now we're just going to reborn this guy. Okay. And we're going to go into battle and yeah. attack. All right. He was for Glad Beast. Yeah. Ah, that ex that explains <laughs> a lot. All right, taking yeah, thirteen. He was for Glad. That is a very hateful Glad Beast card, by the way. That is like, that is like the <laughs> most hateful Glad Beast card, actually. He was uh, he had a job. He had a job. He Obviously, did. He's not doing it, but he had a job. So, I'm just out here six samurai. Guess I'll bring control. Iro. All right, that's annoying. Why you gotta be like this? I gotta be like, what? Yeah, you don't have to bother giving them to me, Bob. Mm -hmm. oh, let me here. And then... I will... The Berg? Mm, yep. And I'll attack. Alright, let's give you a taste of, uh... Your own medicine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's give you a little taste. Let's both take this... The meanest burger in the world. If you make it that way. Alright, we're even. Mm -hmm. I'm in the jam. I am mm. in a jam. Uh, let's see. Are you? I feel like I'm in a jam. All right. Let's see. How long did you feel that way? It's only one card. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay. All right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get in for solid 1400. Mm. Nisashi. Mm. All right. Oh, Help jeez. Oh my God! Me out. Not off the top. No, is this how I lose? <laughs> is this how I lose? <laughs> oh, wow. I don't Where's know. my pot? I still play pot. I can't ask for pot right now. Actually, all right, I take four hundred. All I want to know is, is this how I lose? I hope. Game, you could have just told me. I hope. Game, you could have just told me. <sighs> Summon. Uh, so yeah, he. Okay, yeah, he. Yeah, okay. Activate. Where's your fucking magic drain at? Um, 
All right, all right. I'll, look, don't don't try to fucking mystery and suspense me. All right. BBL Drizzy, you're a real BBL Drizzy. You and your pot. Screw you. Oh, oh, oh. A timely riser. All right. Fucking hoe. That was mean. That was savage. Fucking hoe. That was Draw. sassy, bougie, Draw and ratchet. How much defense does he have? He has a thousand. What was that so savage? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You said I want this one to be over. Yep, yep. It's like 24. Gotta try. Gotta try. No, gotta try. Need heart to win. You do. You absolutely do. In! Uh... That better not be Book of Moon. I will fucking rage quit right now if that's Book of Moon. I will rage quit right now. It's not Book of Moon. Alright, good. <sighs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> like 13 honor what the fuck is that all right all right all right, all right. hold on i'll take 13 oh you know? god you and your take you and your nonsense you were really nonsense. you were really prepared for that <laughs> <laughs> i'm just putting it together like and zork and zork i was like why was he playing draining shield and i, and I put two and two together oh okay he was trying to drain my shield hmm that Mirror Force. Here we go with this the, the million dollar. I was waiting for you to ask. I was <laughs> waiting for you to ask the million dollar question. This is the question that's on everyone's mind. Everyone who's watching, this is the question on everyone's mind. Here's the thing, right? I if Rise's attack goes through, I win, right? If it's and if it's Mirror Force, boy oh boy, did that hurt. It's Sakuratsu armor, then putting him in the defense mode is a bad move, but you know, we'll put him in defense mode. Yes. Yes. Okay. Be gone. Sakuratsu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Come on, deck. Pot of greed. Pot of greed. Ugh. It's not pot of greed. That's just not. But you know what? We will take it. All right. Well, I'm gonna gain your thousand. I'll gain. I'll gain my thousand. Be -be -be -be. All right. It'll be game, right? All right. I'm dead. I'm dead. You got me. All right. You got me. All right. My win streak is over. I think I was like four right. and zero. Oh. My tyranny, my reign of tyranny has ended. I won game one though, and, all, and I said in the deck profile, if I could win a game, I'd be happy. And we did yeah. that. And then we got fucking absolutely back to creamed. I didn't know what to do this week. I, I wanted to build glads, but that, that wasn't happening. Me either. After, after I did not I have the cards to build glads. <laughs> I just did not pack the cards to build glads. I was actually very shocked at how much I didn't pack the cards to build glads. <laughs> I, was, I was a little remiss i was a little I was fucking... like well bro i was sitting there like i guess i'll just try to build lights for it yeah like, oh, oh, i, I listen i was a little remiss at how bad i could not build glads when i tell yeah. you that i wasn't close to building glads this week i was like it oh, was, okay it was um, not happening yeah they had different then, things in mind and then you know after 60 60 packs of uh, that other shit on top of, I looked at it and I was like, I don't really know if I can really do anything with heroes with this. Um, and on top of that, it's so many goddamn cards to process at once. Yeah. So I was like, do I just go back to Earth? And then I was like, one, I don't at the moment feel like doing Earth. But two, once again, I feel I felt like if he played Zork, I just get body. Like I don't, I don't think I just get body if he plays Zork. And then so this basically the idea here was big butts to deal with Glads. Yep. And then. The banish zone. I actually don't know how this works. I think it works, but does Macrocosmo stop advanced virtual art? I wasn't, I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, but I was like, let's check. It might. So, advanced virtual art says you must send normal monsters from your deck to the graveyard. So, it does. Yeah. So, that was my hope. I was like, I think this stops advanced virtual art. So, this deck that I'm putting together here should be able to potentially deal with both Azur and GBs. And then you summon Zanji. And I was like, all right, well. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, let me just make sure. You can only send, you can only send all monsters to the graveyard. You cannot send monsters like blah, blah, blah. You go to summon, etc. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that that is just... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it says on a card, the cards have to be sent to the graveyard. I'm pretty sure that there's... Some cards, if it says sent to the graveyard, I think it'll just get banished in that case. But I think that when it blatantly tells you that they have to go there to play the card, I don't think I'm yeah. allowed to... I don't think I'm allowed to activate it. So yeah, it actually does stop that. Um... Then this was a good this was a good week. It was fast too. This was another fast ass week. I mean, we had to open a lot of packs and stuff and do a whole bunch of other weird administrative stuff, but like Chaos Monsters are banned. BLS, Chaos Super Dragon, Chaos Sorcerer, they're all gone. 
And then mm -hmm. we have, they're in the Hall of Fame. So we have like a little little Hall of Fame maybe um, for those. Nothing else is in the Hall of Fame. I don't think anything else is as problematic as those cards were to our deck building creativity. I just feel like we didn't, yeah. we just genuinely did not have much, um, there just wasn't much creativity going on for like 10 weeks. I feel like I was just playing the same, the same version, the same deck and just different like iterations of it. Uh, and I was playing against Better. the same deck every week too, which also felt like kind of annoying. Just like every single week yeah. is the exact same thing. So it's only it's so like many no times. There's like no room to grow, especially like, for example, next week, with like next next week being the dad yeah um next week is the next invasion chaos of chaos monsters yeah is like kind of cancer yeah i agree i think that it'll it'll start to get to a point where it's like okay well what are we doing here right so i'm excited though the next two packs are the dark set and then light of destruction which is the light set with light swords and and be you know and dark room dragon so the next two sets are exciting this week could have been exciting but we just did not pack anything to build yeah i was really hoping to build gvs i was like oh this will be cool but that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, they just did not have that in the cards. But we did open some duels packs. That was a big highlight of this week for me. Uh, opening the duels packs. I think I got a card trooper, something to just have. Like I just put it in my back pocket. Uh, I got a malicious, which was a rant. Um, can't do anything with one malicious. But you know, here we are. So on to Phantom Darkness. Uh, we will catch you in the next one, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode.